What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about nine ways on how you can make money in real estate. There's a lot of ways to make money in real estate, but let's start with our nine ways that we wanna to explain to you step by step. So the first one is the buy and hold. This is very simple. In Hamilton, where we are, each year the property value has been going up about 13%. Now, we did have a massive jump last year, which was 33%, which is insane. So the buy and hold strategy, basically, you buy the property, you rent out the property, you sit and you wait. That property will increase in value and you will make a good return on investment. And keep in mind that when we're buying the property, you always want to uh, leverage a little bit with the mortgage so that you're not putting down 100% of the capital just for that 13%. Now the second one is flip. This concept you probably a lot of people are already seeing it from the TV. Uh, flipping is re really not to look at the time appreciation from the market. It's really for anybody, any investors to find a distressed property and then really go in there, renovate it and improve the value. So it's really the forced appreciation uh, that we're looking at. And that's a flip. You buy something low, flip it high and then, then you sell it for a profit. Wholesaling. This is a really popular method to make money in real estate because you don't need to be a real estate agent to do it. So that's why a lot of people are getting into wholesaling. Now with wholesaling, what you want to do is you want to find an owner that maybe has a really de-stressed property or they need a quick closing date or they simply can't take care of their property anymore. And what you do is you put them on a contract telling them that basically you're giving them an offer you're gonna put the closing date on it, you're gonna put the price on it that you have negotiated with them, and then you take that contract and you assign it to another buyer and you charge an assignment fee. So you can make anywhere from $30,000, $50,000 just off of that contract. It's a great method, wholesaling, you can make a lot of money. Yeah, keep in mind you do need to get the property uh, secure for a really low price though. Yeah, the concept is actually very similar to a flipping project except now you're flipping the contract to another investor who's going to take on the project and take on the renovation themselves. Great strategy, doesn't require a lot of capital. Now the next one is a bear method. This one, it also requires you to buy something that, that looks a little distressed so that there's a, enough of a value add that you can do in the property. So again, bear method, we have another video right here that people can actually go take a look. Very simple explanation for bear is that you buy, you renovate, you rent, and you refinance, and then you repeat the process all over again. And what that means is that you buy something at a very low price, you renovate it, push uh, the property value high enough, get that rented so that the bank is willing to evaluate your property at a much higher price and give you a different mortgage to pay back your first mortgage. Go to that video, there's a lot more information that you can actually get, but burn method typically yields the highest return out of all the methods that we're doing. Yeah, we love that method, guys. You can go on our channel, you'll see a bunch of videos on it. Check those out as well for sure. Now the next method is the pre-construction. All right, this is a good one as well. If you're just not looking to take care of the property, you just wanna put down the initial deposit. And what happens is you're gonna wait a few years until that property is built. So for example, you buy a, you buy a condo today. In two years, it's finished, completion date, you get the keys. Within that period of time, you've already paid for the deposit, you're not paying a mortgage, you're not paying any other fees, and it's very similar to the time appreciation. You're just waiting. So when it is finished and it's done, it's worth a lot more than what you bought it for. Yeah, but good thing about pre-construction is that you're buying, you're basically buying a future house at a current market price. So a lot of people, especially for someone who wants to be completely hands off, that might be an option for you. Now the next one is commercial and multi-risk. Commercial real estate is a lot different from residential real estate. You're really playing with a cap or you're really figuring out how to improve the performance of the building, which means rent is actually more important uh, in the property evaluation than anything else, right? Residential, supply and demand. Commercial, it's all about rent, performance with the building. Different game. Development. This is a big one. We're not gonna go too in depth on this because you need to be an experienced investor for development. Now, when it comes to development, you can buy the piece of land, make sure you know you can build on that land, you check the zoning. Then you're gonna hire a builder after you know the zoning, you have the permits, you can start your building, whether you wanna build a commercial unit, multi-residential unit. Development is awesome. The other thing though that you can do with development is if you know the zoning in the area for the land that you have, 
if let's say a high rise gets approved on that, you can sell the land and that permit and the contract that you have to a builder and you make some money off of it and you didn't even really do anything. Yeah, there's so many things that you can do in development. Now, let's say if you're an investor who just don't want to be touching real estate at all, right? There's two other ways that you can also participate in real estate investing. The very first one is just be a passive investor. Find someone that are currently running the real estate business, right? Partner up with this person. Invest your money into the project and take a portion of the return. That is a very simple way for you to invest in real estate investing. Although, you do need to do your due diligence on the person. So the last one guys, invest as a lender. Now this one, of course, not everybody can do yet, but you can later. When you're a high income earner, you're making a lot of money, you need to reinvest it, you don't want it sitting in the bank. What you can do is you can become the lender, right? So banks are charging a lender's fee, their interest. You can be that person as well charge that, sit back, and understand when you are the lender, you have the same rights as the bank, which is awesome. So that's another strategy that you can use. These are our nine ways on how you can make money in real estate. If you're interested in any of them, comment below, we'll be happy to help you guys. And don't forget, like and subscribe to this video. We'll see you guys next time.